I feel like <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like as crazy as this sounds, I told you since the beginning, from the first time I met you, I was like, you, I just, you're like my child. It's weird. Like the second I met you, I just <laughs> knew, okay? And like, I've helped you in a lot of ways throughout the years with everything. Everything. <laughs> every you know? Um, and I think, you, you know. You always come to my rescue when I don't deserve it. I think the hard part is like, this especially is really hard because like, this, this fuck up, like, hurt me, um, but I still, like, want to be the person who helps, which is so fucked up and weird, but because, because I care about you, but I also, like, I'm gonna have to play fucking strong dad, okay, like, I have to be honest with you and tell you what's fucked up and what, how real this shit was, and I think you are in no position to ever plan even a birthday party, let alone a yeah. convention. So I it's like, literally should have planned a trip to like Target. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm such a fucking idiot. And I'm not even gonna say what I've been saying on Twitter, which is like, oh, her heart was in the right place, and oh, she had good intentions. Because honestly, what I want to say to you is, I don't think you had good intentions, and I don't think you know that. Because the true intention of it was, revenge. Thousands and thousands of people came. It's like, that's a lot of power. And in all honesty, you you used power for like not good. You used it to get revenge on VidCon. I don't think you wanted anything bad to happen. I don't think you wanted any kids hurt. Like, there's a lot of people saying that. You didn't want that. I didn't want anything bad to happen and I wasn't even in my mind sitting here being like, I want bad things to happen to VidCon, whatever. I just wanted to do something different and I wanted it to be good. But if, if you truly did though, and this is where I'm gonna get like truth daddy on you. <laughs> sorry. Daddy con, sorry. I get it. If, if you truly did uh, want it to be better, you would have planned it better and you would have been more involved. You wouldn't I have been have on vacation in Hawaii. We're in Hawaii, mahalo bitch, mahalo, aloha, mahalo. I'm not surprised because it's you, right. right? So I'm not surprised it wasn't planned well, but right. when I see how shitty it was, like on the inside, it was a joke. Like it was right. like, there was no booths, there was no, nothing to do. There was like no real food or water. Yeah, no food. Yeah, there's no food. We like, yeah. have nothing to eat. The planning was bad. The lineup was weird. If you truly were like, oh, I actually want this to be a good experience. I want this to be a better experience for people to make on. I think once tickets started selling and once people started being like, we love Tana, we love TanaCon. That became less important. It was more about like, oh, people are on my side, and people are never on my side, and they're finally on my side. Oh my god, the internet's on my side. Like, I get it. Thank you for putting this into perspective. You know what I mean? I get it, because people always hate me. <laughs> so when somebody's on my side, I'm like, oh my god. And that took and over. Having... I'm gonna ask you something that could make you look really bad. Um, but it is something that like bothered me when I heard it. The night of all of the fucking Tanacom bullshit. Did you really go to the party? I went to my network's thing to talk to people from my network. In that situation, you and all of the people involved should be in a conference room. But like, everyone. Not even stopping by a party. Like, cause that's not like, when you have like thousands of people going back to their motel rooms burnt, like, yeah. And then you have me, who has nothing to do with the event, doing everything I can. Like, that's, I think, why people are pissed. Another thing that everybody's talking about, the idea that there was actually no free tickets. Which is so fucking insane to me. Because I have been told all the way up until right now of you walking in here, that there is at least 4,000 free tickets. He said, we sold 5,000 tickets. We made $325,000. Well, that's what And that money is going back into rent and this in the convention or whatever. Well, because didn't the other girl too say like she didn't see anybody in the, in line that had a free ticket? Nope. Everybody was VIP. So is, is the free thing just... Bullshit. Scam. We found a scammer who's putting this whole thing on. Yes. everybody on. The scammer is so pissed at how well I'm scamming. I'm drunk. Can you just get this out of my... I think everything happens for a reason. I think this happened... Be I don't go to conventions, right? Never. No, if it that's was... like funny, Pat. You left your house for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you.